basically these are wireless microphones for uh, your phone so the USB type C they come with a charger box etc the person who dropped these off he said that he bought a pair I think he filmed himself playing golf or something like golf competitions with his mates I don't know he bought these uh, the like a wireless mic you got the transmit you got the receiver there and then you got a couple of transmitters and uh, they're supposed to connect to your phone so as you can have decent quality audio and apparently they're really good quality but basically he bought a set and after a couple of weeks they failed so they still light up they still actually show us working but no audio comes through the phone he sent it back to the man well he's contacted contacted the manufacturer and the manufacturer have replaced it with another one so he's right great it's fine and then all of a sudden the other ones have died a couple of weeks later so he's phoned the manufacturer again and said right the same thing's happened and i said no nope, user error we're not replacing them didn't even look at them so let him keep the old ones but didn't even look at them said no user error it's a user problem you're using it wrong sound familiar so the manufacturer have said no, you're using it wrong. We're not replacing them again. We're not covering it under warranty, which, by the way, is illegal. They cannot do it. They have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's you that's caused the issue. And even if they've replaced it once, it doesn't mean your warranty is void. No, it doesn't work like that. So, Cinco, f*** you. This is wrong. You should be ashamed of yourselves. But he's brought them to me, and I'm trying to pop the case off. They all just clip on and off. He brought them to me, and I opened them up on the doorstep I'm trying to get him I'm trying to get into him uh, I opened him up on the doorstep and right away I noticed something and let's see if you guys can notice it you're not going to notice it from there but let's just see if you guys can notice can you see it let's see if chat are on the ball I noticed this without a microscope without any kind of magnification hey chat's on the ball chat on the ball there's a hole in the chip there's an actual hole in the chip now user error you say let's get the other set user error you say same one receiver rx gotta be careful because there is a ribbon in these user error you say Yeah, somehow, I don't think that's user error. Somehow, I would call that a fundamental design flaw in this entire thing. Oh, look, two chips. Oh, look, same place. Hmm, exactly the same place. But this is apparently a user error. Is that from the same place? It looks like it. Right below and in between the 8 and the C. What about this one? Yeah, right below and in between the 8 and the C. Exactly the same place in the chip has failed. Exactly the same place. Exactly the same spot. Probably to the millimetre. Exactly as Paul Boyton just said, I'm going to give my customer slash friend... The same advice that four, four Boyton has just said. F***ing charge back. Because this is not user error. This is a fundamental design flaw in the chip. Let's see if we can buy them chips. M3505 N48. It's probably a proprietary chip. Yeah. What a guess. What a guess. It's a proprietary chip. Uh, GC2N... 2301 no results of course there's not hmm well i would say that this customer should either contact the consumer rights bureau or contact his bank or credit card company synco p2 so you can't buy the chips and the manufacturer blames the user sounds a bit like apple to me how would that happen in the same place i don't know so yeah that's going to be my advice do not buy the synco p2 microphones do not trust Cinco in any way, shape, or form because they are a bunch of f***ing scumbags. Don't buy their pieces of shit at all. Scumbags.
No, they'll probably say the warranty's broken. Well, technically they can't. They can't void the warranty just because it's been opened up. Uh, here's a question. What is actually inside the transmitters? Right. What chip is inside the transmitters? Is it the same chip or is it different? But technically they can't. They can't do anything. They can't say anything. They cannot stop you from opening up your own device. And they cannot void a warranty for it as well. I would think it probably is different, but if I can get one set working, if it is the same and I can at least get one set working, no, nah, it's completely different inside. Yeah, I thought it would be. That sucks. It does suck. That's a joke. An absolute joke. Uh, probably need to be heat synced. I would say, because these have got pass through on them, or they appear to have pass through for charging, right? So it's a bit like my Flare 1 thermal camera. On my Flare 1, you've got the USB Type-C output, so that goes into your phone. And then you've got a pass-through port for charging. So as you can, you know, connect a power bank or, you know, you can do whatever. Uh, so you should be able to charge them at the same time as using them. I would say that they haven't got adequate protection on the pass-through port. So obviously they've got contacts there for charging, so they're just sitting inside the dock. But you can also charge them through the pass-through pass port. Uh, you know, you can connect, or you can connect up headphones as well, I think. Um, it's Type-C, so I don't know what you can actually do with it. But I would say that it hasn't got adequate, adequate um, overcoming protection on the Type-C port. That's ultimately what's probably blown the chip, is because it did tell me that we did try and charge them while they was in use. And for the first couple of weeks, it worked absolutely fine, until it didn't. And to me, that's a, that's a design flaw. If it can't handle overcurrent, if it's got no overcurrent protection on what's supposedly prosumer, it shouldn't be on the market, or it shouldn't have the port there. They should have just completely removed the port, but no, they wanted to, they wanted to use it as a design feature. Don't buy them. Re there we go. Review over. Synco. Fuck off. The battery in the case won't be strong enough to, do it, to cause that. No, I agree. The the battery inside here won't be strong enough to cause that. Um, but a power bank or another charging device would. But whether or not it's been caused by a power bank or you know a third party charger, whatever, that shouldn't have the feature there if it can't handle it, right? Because the, I've seen the power bank that he was using, and it's a Type C power delivery 3.0 power bank. He's got protection on the power bank, but he hasn't got protection on these. So the slightest surge, and the chip just goes boop, dead. How much are they? Uh, about fifty pound. They're not expensive, but it's not the point. Uh, you can get them hundred nine pound ninety nine, brand new on Amazon. But no, I would say that. In fact, let's have a look. Let's let's just have a look at scammers on here. So, two-person stereo recording, Synco P2T, wireless lav mic, uh, two, two transmitters, one receiver, simultaneously recording two people's voices and supporting mono or stereo mode, blah, 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 following Synco to 3.0 DSP chip, it's all just marketing jargon, through Type-C port on the RX, Type-C to 3.5mm adapter included, you could in-ear real-time monitor current recording or simultaneously charge your phone it has got pass-through or it's supposed to support pass-through very clearly there is a design flaw and it is what's causing the issue don't buy them charge while using look that i told you look that they actually use it as a feature don't trust them charge while using absolute 100 percent poppycock anyway don't buy them guys don't ever buy these if you're going to consider them. Not until they get the priorities right and actually start taking care of the customers. Because quite clearly that is not an issue with user error. That is not a user 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 error that's caused that. Because he's using it as it's intended. But hey, such is life. Right, um, I really appreciate the support as always, guys. Um, I'll probably be on Twitch at some point in the week. Probably tomorrow or the day after. Um, so be, be sure to give me a follow over on Twitch. If you, if you want to, thank you all. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, see you all later. Peace.